It's been a few months since I multi app because I was only focused on deliver that because they provided enough order volume and enough money for me to just be like, man, I don't need the other ones. But with all the experimentation on the DoorDash app and then me giving Uber Eats a break, I said, hmm, how much money can I make if I paired all three of them together? That's what we're going to do in this video. So let me get my headphones on and let's get this money. $829.45. This is a deliver that order going 2.6 miles. Mm. Man, I, when I be doing these orders, right, I be on the move, move. I don't have time to be just wasting and just sitting around and nothing like that. I got to go because I'm trying to get this dough. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Deliver That is providing enough money for me and enough order volume for me to just figure, focus on that alone. But nah, let's let's continue here. And for all those that are concerned about um, unpacking everything and having to set up, look at all these hands that's going to be on deck. Everybody's going to be contributing. People are washing their hands so they can help put everything in order. It's, it was it was off the chain. I did I barely did anything except unpack my bags. <laughs> How they taking it from me? They telling me where to put it? I'm telling you. This one had a lot of pans though, <laughs> but good luck for me. You know, I got my box and my bags and it, it, it just works out. Somebody already put out the utensils, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Now, later on in the evening, I, I just did that one deliver that. And later on in the evening, I decided that I was going to do some DoorDash and Uber Eats. Just to see how much money I can make, knowing what I know about these platforms now, especially DoorDash with all the experimentation, I said, let me see how much money I'm going to make with this. I'm going to put everything that I've, I've gathered to the test right now, and let's get this money. How much was that? Let's go back really quick. 2.9 miles, $6.75. Just salad. Ended up turning to 775 after I drop it off right here. Now this one is gonna be very interesting. 784 miles, little Caesars pizzas. Pizza, listen, look at this. Check this out. I want y'all to pay attention to all them people up in there. Okay. Look, 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 look at all that. They got people sitting down, they got people standing up. When I get closer, you'll see a little bit better, but I'm like, yo, they backed up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay. People standing up. Look at that. <laughs> I said, I ain't wasting my time. Can't deliver. <laughs> On a sign. Let's go. And by the way, I am going to show every single offer that I received and why I accepted each one. I'm going to show with the GPS and everything. So just stay tuned. Mm. 
Let's rewind that really quick. My bad, y'all. I got to show y'all this stuff. They, this lady really had me confirm that I had an actual order before. <laughs> I told y'all it's real out here. I had to confirm before she get, before she handed me the bag. I was like, listen, look, check this out. That's where you see me showing her my phone right here. Woo. I'm telling you. This one gave me a ten dollar cash tip. Mm. Six seventy five going four point seven. Another little Caesars. Like, I think Bud Soda calls that a triple stack. I don't know what he calls it, but I think that's I, now I'm basically I have two orders on on Uber Eats and one on DoorDash for four seventy five. I'm going to get the DoorDash right now. It's just some cookies. Now I'm going to do that add-on It be packed in this lot, man I swear Two hours and 45 minutes on DoorDash. Started at 5.30. 28.50 on Uber. Three trips. Now, look at this. This is the Deliver That. It's a good app to have. And then when you add it to everything, $105.51 in three hours and 26 minutes. $30.73. 51 cents per minute. Y'all understand. I explained all that in the recent video. But... I'm telling you, this is why I do what I do. 36.2 miles total, all right? $2.91 per mile, and then the amount that I put to the side for maintenance. You know, so at this time, what I'm going to do, obviously, obviously I say go get your money, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show every single offer, every offer that I accepted, and the reason why I accepted it, and the reason why I declined it, um, you're going to see all of it. All right. So hold on to your seats. All right. This, this is my first offer. I told y'all I started at five 30. If you, oh, this thing acting up, <laughs> get me out the way. All right. So like I said, as you see the time here, what time does it say? Five 39. Okay. I took this order because I was like, it's a good order for me to start off with. All right, 675 going 2.9 miles, right? Not a bad order. It is profitable, right? And then the next order I got after I was done with that one was that that little Caesars that was jam packed, man. I said, nope, not doing it. Unassigned, as you see, this one came in at 552. Okay, um, that's after I completed that first one. Then after I did that, uh, after I, I let that one go. I did, I received that $5.28. Now, here's the reason why I accepted it. All right, $5.28. It came in at $5.58 and it's going 5.4 miles. Now, if you look, it's looping me back around to where I came from. That area that the drop off is, is literally like a block away, or maybe like two blocks away from where I started when I took that first order. This order right here is literally taking me right back to this area right here. All right. So I'm like, why not? You know, Uber is going to loop me right back. Heck yeah. Let's go. I'm paying. I'm being paid for all my miles. <laughs> let's go. Then DoorDash, they send me this one. 
Okay, let's take a look at this real quick. 1684, it's a double order, okay? 9.3 miles, eight items from the same Little Caesars that sent me this one right here that I canceled. <laughs> that not canceled, but I unassigned. No, not happening. All right? Then they sent me this 1684. Now, it's not just because I would have to go back to that same Little Caesars, okay? But if you look at the GPS here, where the homes are is outside of the zone. I'm not going there. And it sent me this at 615. No, I'm not going there. Why are you trying to send me out the zone, DoorDash? Not happening. Then, after that, look at what they did again. This one comes in at, what time? 621. This one came in at, what time was it? 615. Literally six minutes later, 621, it tries to send me outside of the zone, the zone again. For $7 going 5.3 miles. For those that do not know, you see where it says Miramar in the middle of the screen? That street below it, that, that's kind of like intersecting with South Flamingo Road. It That is kind of like the border right there. Almost. Okay. Now, why is it sending me outside of the zone? And it did it back to back. First it did it here. And then it did it here. And it's keep trying to send me out of the zone. No, not doing that. Decline. <laughs> now, Uber, I guess they was in competition with trying. What the? <laughs> I need to get this in order. All right. I guess Uber was trying to be in competition with DoorDash. With, well, hey, let's see who's going to send him out of the zone first. Who, which order he going to accept. Right. This one came in at 628. Remember, the previous one on DoorDash came in at, uh, what was it? 621, I believe. Yep, 621. Now, here go Uber at 628, trying to send me way to the beach. <laughs> it's 1632, two orders going 15 miles. Decline, decline. <laughs> Not doing it. I want to stay in this hot zone that I'm in because my time is everything. I got to make sure that I'm able to knock out as much as I can in the amount of time that I'm going to be dashing for, which the total time, we'll go over that in a minute. All right. So, um, so let's see here. This Outback Steakhouse. Oh, my gosh. I really need to get this in order. This Outback Steakhouse came in at 628. Remember, the Uber came in at what time? 628. So this Outback I think it came in either at the same time or a little bit after the Uber, right? So I'm like, I'll take this one because this one is down the street and it's still in a hot zone, right? It's going on 5.3 miles, 775. Not a problem. I'll knock that out. Let's go, All right? Then I get this 675 Little Caesars taking me back to where I started from. <laughs> and what time I got that one? 649. OK, I took that one. I knocked it out. You And you saw all that in the video. And I'll play the video one more time so you could then put all of this together. OK, now this very last, uh, not very last, but I got this 325. It's not profitable. No, I'm not taking that 325 going 5.8 miles. That's an that's an immediate decline. OK, now this one came in at 707. No, not happening. Let's move on to the next. Then they send me this 350 going how many miles? 3.7 miles. No, it's not profitable. Not taking it. What time did that one come in? Let's see here. 712. All right. The next one, I'm telling you, they be trying. They be trying. Okay. They sent me this Jolly Bee and Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Uh, double order going 13 miles for 1190. What time did they send it? 713. I hope y'all paying attention here because I, I, I put out the information about how these orders come in so I know what to cherry pick. But not every everything will come with the miles that you want it to. Like 1190 is a decent payout, but for 13 miles, it's not. Not to me. Not in my market. Not for me. Okay? Maybe for some of you. Like I know... Um, I know... Uh, Bud Soda said that he would take something like this and make it profitable, make it worth it. 
you know, and I understand how he can do that, but I'm not doing that. Right. Not on these types of orders. Right. So anyway, let's continue. Right. Then I get this 1051. Okay. It's 1051 on Uber going 6.3 miles. And I'm like, Hmm, what am I going to do here? <laughs> I looked at it and it, Oh, the timer almost ran out on me. All right. I know y'all see it at halfway, but I'm still analyzing it because I'm seeing I'm like, yo, this is going way over there. Do I really want to go over there? I don't really want to go over there. And it, it, like, it, uh, I, I'm trying to figure it all out, trying to process it. Right. Then I accept it. Then immediately after I accept it, I get this DoorDash for 475 going in the same direction. Let me show you all this again. All right. So I got to go east. OK, I know y'all see Palm Avenue. Look at where I'm at. Right. If I go, if I take that main road, which is uh, what we call Pines Boulevard down here. Right. If you're not from my area, Pines Boulevard straight across to Palm Avenue. I'm going to land right in this one. Like I said, look at uh, you see Pembroke Lakes Square right next to where I'm at. Right. And then that street right there is taking me right to where the other customer is. So I'm like. Hmm. 425 is a profitable order. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> okay. I'm taking it. I took it. I accepted it. And then I get this add on. <laughs> Let's look at the times on these orders. Okay. Check this out. 713 came the Uber. Then 713 came to DoorDash, and then 715 <laughs> came the add-on. And I'm like, ooh, the add-on is going an additional five miles. So instead of me just saying, oh, I'm just going to make $10, $10 going, was was that six miles, 6.3 miles, mm, 10.51, mm, let me add a little $4 to it on top of, uh, it's going in the same direction. So that put me at fourteen, fifteen dollars, right? Fifteen dollars for the for the six miles, the six point three miles, because these two are going in the same direction. So what else have I got? What else am I gonna do here? Then I get this additional five miles for twelve dollars. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to make it a nice run. Oh yeah, and then I'm done. <laughs> That's what I was saying to myself. I'm gonna make it a nice run, and then I'm done, because I only wanted to make just a couple of bucks for the day. I know some people. You know, you go out there, you hustle, you try to make as much as you can for the time that you're out there. And, you know, I, I believe in that hustle. You know, I believe in maximizing the, the amount that you make for the time that you're out there. But I also believe in like, hey, I'm not going to overwork myself. I want to spend time with my kids. I want to I don't want to just be on the road all day, you know. So I made one hundred and five bucks, y'all. And I'm not going to let you watch the whole video again, but we will watch the DoorDash portion. All right. I want y'all to watch this DoorDash portion and for y'all to follow along again to see how these orders coming in. All right. So check this out. Let's fast forward. How about that? Because I don't want y'all to go through all that again. So this is the first order, right? The very first order for the, uh, the 2.9 miles just sat it. Turned into 775. This is the Little Caesars. Okay. Look how busy it is. <laughs> no, not happening. And then I get that Uber. Just try to follow along. I picked up that Uber. It's taking me back to where I started from. I should say down the street. Then I get that Outback Steakhouse. Verify form. I get that $10 tip. Then I get that $10 tip. The Little Caesars that take me back to where I started from. Drop it off, man. that 10 
51, I was trying to figure it out. I got the 1271, but I got it after the DoorDash. And not to confuse anyone with the edit, right? I wanted to make sure that I, I didn't confuse you, right? I got the 1051 on the Uber, then I got the add-on for the Uber. So it's like I didn't want to confuse you. That's why I put them together. Then I put this DoorDash for 475. But in all reality, as you saw on the times I just showed, the first one came for the Uber Eats for 1051, then the DoorDash for 475, then the add-on for twelve dollars and some change. And now I'm going to pick up that that Dutch pot. You know, a lot of you have probably heard of Dutch pot. Or maybe you haven't, but it's just a Jamaican restaurant. Like it says right here on the screen. <laughs> And pause right here. See, two hours and 45 minutes total on DoorDash. All right. DoorDash was the first app I turned on and DoorDash's time is what I tracked. OK, now DoorDash's time with Uber Eats and DoorDash is the total time that I was out. OK, two hours and 45 minutes. So if you look at how much I made between both apps, I made 27 on DoorDash. And twenty eight fifty on Uber Eats for two hours and forty five minutes. Then I I just added the deliver that to the mix because I wanted to see if I added total earnings instead of just focusing on deliver that. I said let me add, let me do some deliver that in the morning and then some DoorDash and Uber Eats in the evening to see how this works out. Now I know some of you might say. Well, you wasn't really multi-apping with all three at the same time. Multi-apping is different meanings. You use multiple apps to make the money you want to make for the day. So if I start with Roadie in the morning and then I do deliver that towards the afternoon and then I do DoorDash and Grubhub in the evening, how much did I make on a whole, like all together? Did I make $20 on Roadie? $40 on Deliver That, $100 on, on DoorDash and Uber Eats. You know, you put it all together. So the fact is I use multiple apps to achieve my goal of $105 in one day. Now, to uh, many of you, that's not going to be a lot because a lot of you go for like 200 and 300 and so on and so forth, right? But as I've said early on this year, I'm now going part-time. So to make two, uh, $105 in three hours and 26 minutes, that's not too bad. I said not too bad. That's not bad at all. And as I said, three hours and 26 minutes, right? If you added two hours and 45 minutes to deliver that time, I started at 1131. Ended at 12, 12. So you could might as well call that. It's really less. It's like 40 minutes or something like that. But if you want to just call it 45 minutes, why not? I mean, it is what it is. You could total up the time, though. It's three hours and 26 minutes. So I made $40 and one cent on DoorDash. I mean, on Deliver That. And, you know, I made the rest on Uber Eats and DoorDash. So this is what I get when I put all of it together. So imagine what you can make if you do, if you do the same. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to multi-app. You don't have to do it the way that I do it, but you just got to make sure that you deliver each one, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, 
deliver that in a timely manner. All right. But otherwise, y'all got to go out there and get your money. If you have any questions about deliver that. Just feel free to ask, man. I'm going to answer as many questions as I can, but I prefer that you reach out to me because it's hard for me to get onto YouTube sometimes, you know, because I'm just busy sometimes, you know, and I can't always get to it. Let's rewind this really quick. So I made $105. $105 and $5.51 in three hours and 26 minutes. Okay. And then. $30 and 73 cents an hour, 51 cents a minute, six cents per gallon. Okay. 36.2 miles driven, two point two $2.91 cents per mile, a dollar 44 or a dollar 45 for maintenance. All right. For the amount of miles that I drove and the six cents, six cents per, per gallon for the amount of gas that I burnt. So I'm just saying, Family. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, but go get your money.